So here's an example of a 100% man-made stone. I've seen hundreds of different marker stones around the Philippines, but uh, the main two types is one they'll take a natural stone and carve into it. Others they will take a clay or a cement and make a stone-like object. But here, uh, this was found at a triple waterfall. So there's a large fall, medium-sized fall, and a small fall. And it comes, the large fall is eaten out this deep cavity underneath, which then runs to the second and then takes a right turn and goes out this little channel to the, the creek there. So this is very accurately showing the uh, layout of the falls itself. And there's many faces on this stone also, which is quite interesting. And, and the cavities correspond with, with reality of uh, what's in the position there. There's also uh, eyeballs on the on the actual wall of the waterfall and a sword mark. Sorry for the dirty fingernails. I've been doing some mechanical work uh, quite a bit the last few days. Uh, but one of the coolest things on the stone are two, two aspects. One is there's a flat, very flat surface here. I don't know if you can see how flat this is, but it, it shows that it was man-made. It was laying on a table as it was being worked. And it so accurately corresponds to what the uh, creek looks like. So it's a map stone indicating the location. But here's how they, here's an example of how they would uh, show that this was a man-made stone so that when the Japanese returned, there would be no question. One, a thumb imprint. So quite deep here, but my thumb just happens to fit perfectly. Secondly, a palm print. You can actually see like the lines in the hand where the hand fits 100% perfectly right up against that with no, with no space or anything. Just fits right nicely here in this palm mark. But this is my favorite, the wrist, the wrist area. So here, again, 100% with the bone, the joint of the wrist fitting right in here perfectly. And then the rest of the hand, the arm going there. So what they would do is, this looks like a natural stone, but there are no stones in this area. And definitely not of this material, so that's what caught my attention. It looks a little bit like a limestone, but it's a, a hardened clay, maybe a, an epoxy-like clay, actually. It's, it's quite hard. So they, they did so many marks on here to make it look natural, but it's a map stone, a marker stone. And they, they confirm that it's a man-made stone with these three indications with the palm, the thumb, and the uh, wrist. So it's a pretty cool, pretty cool indicator.